Fabularia Meridima. Psst. Pee hee pee hee. If Alyssum had a human voice, that's what it would be, for sure. Be best friends with Chickweed too, eh? Have you ever seen Chickweed? God, it's cute. Lobularia meridima, the Latin for Lissum, loosely translates into uh, small pods from the coast and comes from southern Europe, Mediterranean. Alyssum is in the mustard family. Not a lot of people know that. Brassicaceae or Cruciferae, a couple different names for that family. It's a big one. Alyssum can be perennial from zones 5 to 9, but usually they're sold as an annual. Those cell packs that you'll get at uh, garden centers are typically annuals. Alyssum likes full sun to part shade, depending on your region. Um, they're fairly drug tolerant, but they'll perform a lot better if you keep them regularly moist. Okay, the blooms will be bigger, the plant will be happier. Don't follow my lead and plant Alyssum in a pretty small pot because it would dry out much easier. I was desperate at the end of July and I had no alyssum on my balcony and I was like, I gotta get some alyssum! And I bought some seeds and I scattered them and it was nice because I had some later season blooms and I think they really liked the uh, September temperatures. But I would recommend planting them in the ground, straight in the ground or a really big container. Uh, they look really good with lots of other flowers and they're quite the team player. I'll get to that in a bit. You can plant alyssum seeds like four to six weeks before your last frost and then eventually you can harden them off outside and transplant them outdoors. You can also just direct sow them into the ground. Just barely cover them with soil. They do need the light to germinate uh, and then germination takes about three weeks minimum so be patient. They will come up. Do consider succession seeding though because I really enjoyed my late season alyssum. Seed some in March and then seed some again in July. It's worth a shot. I recommend it. Some people say you can, like if you have weather that's way too hot and then by July your alyssum looks just toasted and leggy, you can sh like just shear the whole thing down, kind of like you cut grass, and apparently it grows back fuller and happier if you're really big on aesthetics. Might want to try that if you have a really hot summer. It'd be like when you shave your head. <laughs> you just get that fresh start and your hair comes back a lot softer. Haven't done it, but that's what I hear. Maybe it'd be like that. Fresh baby alyssums. The average height of the alyssum foliage is about six inches. Depending on the cultivar, it can be anywhere from two to 12. There's lots of different types nowadays. The stems are tiny, teeny tiny, and the leaves are teeny tiny. Okay, the leaves are uh, alternating on the stems and they're delicate. Slender is a good adjective. Slender. And then when it's in its prime, in bloom, it'll just be like this dense cluster of flowers and you can't even really see the foliage. Like if you plant it in the ground, three months later, if it's happy, it's got the right conditions, it's just this mound of alyssum. Here's this dense white carpet of alyssum as you can see. It's like you really have to dig in to actually inspect the foliage if you were to do so. Alyssum flowers are terminal racemes is what they're called. Uh, that means they only flower at the top of the stem and the raceme meaning there's like a little cluster at the top but each little flower that comes out is coming off on its own stem from the main stem. That's what classifies a raceme. Each flower is still Okay, each flower is less than one centimeter in diameter. Oh, it's so cute. They have four petals. Each flower has four and that's something that spans across the entirety of the mustard family, okay? Anything in the mustard family that you see flowers with four petals, so that's a really good way to start identifying at least. Think about it. Have you ever seen a radish flower, canola, literally any wild mustard that you'll see growing on the side of the pavement? Those will all have four petals. Traditionally, alyssum is just classic white, but they have lots of cultivars now. There's lots of purples, pinks, apricot sort of light orangey pastel stuff. Worth noting though that if you buy a hybrid cultivar from a garden center or something and then save the seeds and they're colored, saving seeds from hybrids does not guarantee the same results aesthetically the following year. Okay, here's a stalk that I pulled out just now. And this is what the plant looks like when it goes into its fruiting stage, okay? So these are all the pods where the seeds are. Here's a little pod right here that I pulled. 
Each pod contains two little sort of orangey brown seeds. They'll get more dark brown as they dry off. These ones aren't quite ready yet, but very close. So you can expect two seeds from each pod. Let's not forget to mention the smell of alyssum. Even now, it does emit like a sweet honey scent. Oh, this is the best part. Alyssum is edible. Did you know? Mmm, it's pungent. Mustard, right? It's got a little baby cake to the taste buds. Mm, it'd be so good for just a little spicy garnish. Just a little pep, fold it into your omelets. You could even put it in ice cubes and impress your friends, throw it in their cocktail. A little weird, but very edible. Earlier I called Alyssum a uh, team player. I said that because Alyssum grows really well, like really close to other plants. Often plants will compete with each other, but alyssum has a pretty shallow root system and it just tends to grow really well uh, near almost any plant, unless there's another one that's super invasive and attacks. But, you know, plant it near your spring bulbs and then when those start to fade, you'll have this nice little dense carpet of alyssum. It looks really good too in containers. If you have it in a really big container with other plants and it's really close to other flowers, it's fine. And they'll usually kind of trail and spill over. It's all exuberant and fancy gets along well with others. That's the report card statement for Alyssum. Okay, here's a picture of chickweed. They would totally be besties. I wish I could put on a famous song to show the affection that these two plants would have for each other. Fortunately, that's not allowed, so I'll just pick one up. Two best friends, two best friends. We would get along cause we're so tiny Two best friends, two best friends We would get along cause we're so small Woo!